guys. Oh, we're very zoomed in. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're okay. So I'm currently sat outside Yorkshire Dental. I'm in Leeds. Um, I stayed at my friend's last night. One of my best friends lives in Leeds, so this worked out really well for me. So I stayed at hers last night, and I've got here this morning because it's quarter to nine, and my appointment is at nine, and today I am getting my teeth done. So some of you may know that I literally have hated my teeth for a while. Um, so I've had Invisalign, and I've had a bit of bonding done before but I've just never been happy with them can you see these two they just like that's as straight as the Invisalign could get them and I just feel like my gum like some are bigger some are smaller they're all kind of yeah I just in photos oh it's gone very dark sorry guys in photos I just feel like it always shadows because this teeth is a bit further forward and um, it's just something I've always been conscious of and when I've kind of spent so much money on Invisalign to try and make them straight and then you're still really conscious about your smile um, and your gums and things it's yeah, it just, it's something that I've always not liked. So, today I'm having a bit of a smile makeover. I'm getting gum contouring to try and make the gums level um, with my teeth. I'm getting some composite bonding across them to kind of make these less obvious and make the rest more similar. I don't really know, I'm really nervous. I am so nervous just because I've had things done before and I've ended up, at, like if I don't like them, it just, it just makes me so nervous, guys. So yeah i am really nervous that i'm not gonna like it but I just really like i just really want to love my smile and not feel self-conscious about it there's not many things i feel self-conscious about like i've put weight on since last year i put like a stone on and i'm not self-conscious about it like i just it's it, it is what it is like i and i don't really feel self-conscious about that much but my teeth i do and i think it's because I've just like I feel like I've invested a lot of money into like the Invisalign process and I just still wasn't happy and yeah it's just one of those things so wish me luck guys because I am so nervous like I honestly feel sick I'm that nervous um so yeah we will see guys I'm home I've just got home I'm covering it because I want to show you the reveal so I've been I got there at nine and it's now, oh my watch has run out, but it's now two o'clock. I finished it um, about 12, but it took me about two hours to get back. Um, and I've been FaceTiming Adam and stuff to show him and a couple of my friends. So, do you wanna see? I'm really, honestly, like, so relieved because I was so nervous, just because obviously it's a massive thing, like, to have some something done. And, like, I just wanted it to be right and, yeah i love them i can't i can't even guys i can't even i can't honestly i could cry because i have hated my teeth for so long paid for invisalign had invisalign they never fully straightened the two like canine teeth i think they called like i used to call them my fangs we're just never gonna straighten out more because of the just how bulky and big they were. So without having to like shave my teeth or do anything dramatic, like I didn't want veneers, I didn't want to have little stumps in my mouth, like I just, that wasn't for me. So to have, be able to have composite bonding on top of my unnatural teeth, just a bit of teeth shaping and gum contouring. I, honestly, I'm actually gonna be able to smile in photos of Adam now and not hate them. Like if me and Adam have a close up picture, I'm not gonna despise it. You don't understand, like I, wow. And how cute that I also got flowers. They gave me flowers after. And just like, you know, um, like I paid for this guys so it's not like this isn't an ad like I paid for this but would I recommend yes so I'm less numb now because I was so numb because it was all numbed here I'm less numb now <laughs> I can't stop I'm less numb now I am starving so I'm gonna have some crumpets because I'm literally so hungry um 
I've just got home. Obviously, I've not been home for a couple of days because I've been, I drove after work yesterday straight to Leeds. Um, what am I doing? My compass. Been more toasted. Yeah, so I've not been home in a couple of days. Adam's left it so nice, which is amazing. All tidy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have some crumpets and I'm just going to sit. I'm going to have some paracetamol. To be fair, I'm not in pain, but the gums, because they had to burn them or whatever they did to contour. Um, you can see like they need to heal. Can you see like they're a bit like not healed? They'll take a couple of days to heal. And they just feel a bit like I've been messed with in my mouth for three hours, which I have been. So I'm going to have some paracetamol. I'm just going to sit, have my crumpets, just chill, just relax. To be honest, that drive was quite stressful. I'm really not, I don't like love driving on the motorway. I don't hate it and I'll certainly, it won't stop me going places like I'll do it, but I don't love driving on the motorway. Not even necessarily the motorway, sorry, but like the city centre. So I used to actually live in Leeds. I went to university there for three years and I did drive when I was at university, but I didn't always take my car to uni and obviously the city centre, it's all one way systems, like I don't know it. So trying to get in the right lane and roundabouts and sudden turns, it was like, my heart was like, oh. so I just feel like I just need to calm down. Like I've had a very busy morning, like, oh, and the drive. So I'm excited to just be home and just chill. Um, and if I can get, so they actually filmed what they did today. So if I can get any footage of what actually happened when I was in the dentist, like my reaction and everything, then I will insert it. Sorry, the um, memory card went. Yeah, I'll insert any footage that I have so you can kind of see the process and what happened or any pictures or anything, um, just in case you're interested because for me, this is honestly gonna change my life. Kat didn't love her smile, but YDS can fix that. Let's start with some tooth contouring. Now we begin to prepare the teeth for the bonding. Every tooth is handled with precision. Then we finish building the templates before filling them up with nanofill composite bonding. We finish by polishing the final look to get them nice and shiny. And we're done. Let's reveal her new smile. Oh my god. always just had a massive thing about my teeth and I just have always hated them I feel like they've been photos like I just and coming into like I'm 29 and I just thought hopefully in the next few years I might have a marriage I might have a wedding and you know when you just think I just really want to just feel like my best self and for me it was just something that always played on my mind so it was worth the money that I spent the most expensive thing was the gum contouring so that was two thousand pounds this is it is a lot of money guys it is a lot I'm not it's not cheap um but I guess when it if you want to know how much it costs everyone would be different not everybody would need gum contouring but I did um so that was two thousand pounds and then a composite bonding veneer for each teeth a composite bonding like full tooth i think it's like maybe 395 i could have made that up i would double check and put it on screen per tooth so it depends how many you get done now because i have a, such a big smile and i smile like this all the time you can see right back here so they had to do a lot otherwise it would have just looked stupid some people's grins aren't as wide as mine but you guys know what i'm like i'm constantly like ah! so i needed it to be the full thing to, to look right um, and then yeah and then I had some teeth like contouring too but I think that was included in the co composite bonding price but I'm not sure if you didn't need the gum contouring and you didn't even need as many teeth done it could be like 1,000 to 2,000 pounds I know um, one of my friends is going and she's only having four teeth done so hers is like a thousand pounds around so it depends what you need but I had a consultation first they went through everything told me the plan and then I agreed to it yes or no and then came back so I've got to go back in four weeks three to four weeks to just check the healing of everything check it's okay and yeah right I need to eat my compass now because I'm absolutely starving like my stomach is non-stop rumbling morning guys I've just woken up hence the, the pajamas I got these linen pajamas from um ASOS they're so comfy because I've just been too hot every night. It's been literally like uncomfortably hot. So I got these little limb pajamas. I, I could have done with them in a size small really because they are very wide and spacious. But the little shorts have a tie on. 
which is fine and um, but they only had medium left so i got them and they do them in like a sage green so i might get them as well try and get them in a smaller size but i love them they're just so they're like a linen they'd be so good for holiday as well you know like i feel like you could wear it like over a swimsuit bikini as like an actual outfit um with some flip-flops and a little bag I'm making a cup of tea now and um, it's about 8 30 on saturday so i've just come downstairs and i'm still fast asleep um and yeah i'm just gonna have a cup of tea i have got today so much to do and i don't normally come on talk about like oh look at my bags oh my gosh guys look at those bags by the way my skin has cleared up so well like these are all just like scarring um i don't know if i've even talked about this on here on youtube but i i've always suffered with bad skin like i'm such a I've, I've always had bad skin like from being a teenager and um, it just kind of never really went i think it's just hormones and stuff um but i've been using skin in me and it's really sorted out like i know you can see these red bits but they are flat like can you see they're just scarring from old old spots um so i'm really really pleased with it i can't wait for the scarring to go i feel like I, that can take quite a while um i'm gonna start taking collagen actually i bought some it's upstairs i need to go and um dig it out because i feel like that can help with your skin um and you have been using skin me and it's been great it's basically cleared my skin up um even at like when i'm like time of the month and hormones and stuff it's it's really helped i actually can't get over these bags oh my goodness me i'm just exhausted guys <laughs> just exhausted um so yeah i'm going to I d yeah what was i going to say then yeah i've got loads to do today so i never really talk about um my school work on here i try and keep it more like my other side of my life which is my social media life my instagram my fun my social but at the moment my school works i'm a primary school teacher um i've got so much on honestly it's the worst time of year for primary school teachers i would say is the summer term because you've got reports for every child you've got just so much going on so many busy things so i've got 30 children's summer reports to write i would say they take about 45 minutes to an hour per report and they're due in on thursday and it is now saturday and i haven't started yet so i've got to find 30 extra hours this week um after work after instagram work this weekend like you know when you're just like oh my goodness me everything everything takes so long um so i'm gonna have to crack on with those so what i think i'm gonna do is make a cup of tea i'm gonna set myself a target today because i've got loads of things to do so i'm gonna make a cup of tea and um try and get like five done maybe four done this morning um, if I can try and like get on a good pace with it four done this morning whilst I'm just like having a cup of tea have my breakfast watching telly and then I'm going to get ready for the day go do some filming then I've got to go and meet my friends this afternoon because I'm going for a nice walk in the sun although it's not that sunny right now guys it doesn't look sunny at all right now does it look at the, it just looks a bit drab but maybe it'll lighten up um, in a bit Oh no, it's actually rain. There is rain. Well, let's hope it brightens up. So I'm going for a walk with my girls. I'm going to go get a glass of rosé, sit outside um, this little spa that's near us and just have like a little glass of rosé, hopefully in the sun or in the not so sunny weather. And then this evening I'm just going to chill so I could potentially get a few more done. And then tomorrow I could potentially get a few more done. I've got a really exciting DIY project to do, which is what I want to do today more than anything else. Um, so I'm really excited to do that. I actually did an amazing DIY the other day, which I'll show you because it's just on the back of um, our door, which I'll show you later. I was so proud of it. Um, so I've got a couple of DIY things I'm going to do because I went to the range the other day and picked up loads of stuff for DIY. Um, so I'm going to do that today as well at some point this weekend so yeah that is the plan guys i thought i'd just update you and this is kind of just a real spend the weekend with me when i have stuff going on i'm going to be royal as kettle nice i've talked too long um and i guess like that is one of the main things that i never see on other 
people's YouTube videos is them talk about their real jobs or their real lives and it's because most of them don't have another job. This is their job. But when you start this pathway at 29 years old, 28 years old, 29 now, I obviously have had, I've got a full career in another thing and I don't want to not do both. Do you know what I mean? I want to keep doing both. Um, so I guess it's just, my vlogs will always be just a little bit different because I actually have so much other stuff going on as well. I can't do this full time, which is why you'll notice my uploads recently have been a bit sporadic. Like I'm really struggling to keep to once a week, um, and it's just because I have so I have I have so much going on. I, I basically have two jobs, so it's just it's just a lot. I'm trying to balance that and everything else that goes on in my life, which is a lot at times. Um, yeah. So I'm so sorry guys that my vlogs are here, there and everywhere and I'm just all over the place. But next year I'm actually um, dropping a couple of days down at work so I can do this job and that job a more equal amount, like part, half and half. Um, so I have more time. It'll just be so much better for me and my well-being because I'm, I do just constantly work at the moment and I'm probably hence why I'm nearly 30 and I look nearly 40 with these bags. <laughs> it need, I need I need serious help guys serious help so yeah I'll catch up with you in a bit guys when I've done some work and then we can have a fun rest of the day okay guys I'm ready now my friends are here so we're gonna go out on a quick walk I've literally shoved this dress on not ironed it because I can't be bothered and got my little mango bag gonna put my flip flops on and yeah we're gonna go for a little walk and a little rosé just come to Ruby Hall for a little drink Franks and I have got Sauvignon, cheers, hoping it doesn't rain, we've ordered some snacks, and guess where we're going, <gasps> we're going to Abbott Voyage, <laughs> so exciting, coming in July, literally can't wait, yeah. and we're going to stay over in London, yeah. have a girls weekend, girls weekend. <laughs> can't wait, I texted Frankie when she was on holiday, and she'd had some drinks, I was like, do you want to go to Abbott Voyage, and she was like, Yes, absolutely. Next morning woke up, she was like, what have I agreed to? <laughs> I'd already booked the tickets, booked the hotel and found us everything that we're going to do. She does not mess around. I don't mess around. <laughs> oh, food is coming. Food has come. Tempura prawns, hummus, chips. Unreal. Hi guys, I'm home now. I have done a quick change. I'm now in this little dress because it's a bit colder now and I'm actually going back out to tea. Adam's just hoovering, sorry about the sound. Um, I'm actually going back out for tea to the same place but a different part of it. <laughs> we have this little village near us, it's called Ruby Hall Village. And it has like a spa bit which is where we sat before um, to have our drinks with the girls. And they have like a restaurant on there, they have like, they have loads of stuff on there because it's like a holiday village for people who don't live close by if, that, if you get me. So we're just going to go for the restaurant there for tea, I'm just going to shove some flip flops on. Go for the restaurant there. We're actually, me and Anna are going and we're actually um, picking up Soph as well. My best friend Sophie, which some of you may know, she owns a little homeware shop called Olive and Wood Interiors. So we're picking her up on route. She's coming with me and Adam. She's pregnant and she's due so soon. And we were like, we both need to see you. We've not seen you in ages. She's just been literally overwhelmed getting sorted, ready for the baby. So picking her up on route. We're going to go in a minute. It only takes two minutes to get there. And I came home today from being out for lunch with the girls and Adam has built my new bed. It's a mess in here, just ignore it. I need to style everything properly, but oh my goodness me, I am obsessed. Sorry, ignore me being 29 and sleeping with Teddy still. Wow, look at this mess. I, guys, I really should have styled this before showing you, but this is just the normal state of my room. Um, how gorgeous is that? Just look at it. It is absolutely stunning. So it's from Olivia's. Can you see that? It's from Olivia's. I'll tag the bed down below. Um, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I and the legs are, are gorgeous as well. Just look at that rustic wood. Yeah, I just absolutely love it. Um, that's Adam's heart monitor for his defibrillator. Um, which is really why we needed a new bed, we didn't need a new bed, but um, some of you may know that obviously after Adam having his cardiac arrest, is it really dark in here or is it just me? After Adam having his cardiac arrest um, this time last year, and it happened when we were asleep, when I woke up and found him 
basically dead and not breathing um and that whole situation obviously extremely traumatic i don't i'm not going into it, it was horrendous because he had a heart condition that obviously was undiagnosed we didn't know about anyway got the defib in now but because i obviously had really really bad ptsd from what happened and um, really traumatic to be honest i yeah it's a <laughs> it's a lot um so i had cbt therapy for ages and one of the things she recommended was obviously getting a new bed kind of change a new environment um which i didn't do for ages because i just wanted to be I want to overcome it myself but now is the time it's been a year like I need a fresh start so this new bed is my fresh start and I have been on a new bed hunt for a long time because of this I was just trying to find the perfect one and this is the perfect one I absolutely adore it so so happy I can't wait to style it up and I will tomorrow style it up and then re-show you this room when it's not a complete tip with literally everything everywhere um so yeah so I'm gonna go out for tea now which has been I've been out for a snack and then out for tea which is not really probably great for my bank balance today but you know what it's fine it's a saturday treat yourself <laughs> <laughs> Good morning guys, it's now the next day, um, I didn't film much of our dinner last night but it was really lovely and it's so nice to see Soph and it's her baby shower in two weeks so I'm so excited for that. So yeah, really exciting time to head with my friends. I am so tired. I literally had a really good sleep apart from I woke up in the middle of the night and I always sleep with like the window wide open and I have to open the shutters a little bit because the I'm just so hot and I was led like backwards in the bed so my head was like at the end of the bed so I could get like the draft from the window here and there was literally a storm in the middle of the night so <laughs> I woke up and I was literally getting rained on into the and I, it was honestly the craziest storm um so I had to shut the window but other than that I had a great sleep but I got up early and I did some more of my reports I'm in my boring girl era guys nothing's going on nothing is exciting right now I'm just working and working and working and today I just put on this new little gym set which I got from um Bo and T which is to be fair where I get all my gym stuff from because the fit is just amazing like it's so stretchy and just like really cute and this is the back of it if you can see it's got like a like a back don't know what you call those things but I just love these I love wearing little gym suits even when we just like go for a walk which is what we're doing today I'm gonna go to the gym but yeah this is bow and tea by Apolly I literally have it in every color I get a medium leggings and a I think this is a small top but to be honest I could have maybe done with a medium but I wanted it to be tighter so it was more supportive if you get me um so yeah so Adam and I today are just gonna go for a walk now which is what we do every Sunday we go what we try and do go for a walk get a coffee I presume um and yeah just have a chill and then I'm gonna come back I'm gonna style up this bedroom so I can take a picture of this bed and um get it all looking nice I'm gonna really need to wash those big cushions as well so I need to do that which is not a fun job and then I'm gonna do my little DIY that I've been so excited to do and yeah I've got some new things to share with you as well from Amazon and the range and I think that's everything so that's the plan for today guys so yeah I'm so sorry this is a bit of a boring vlog but I'm like I said I'm in my boring girl era all I do is work and go for walks <laughs> and I see my friends a little bit but you know this is the life of a 29 year old there's not much going on there's not much going on although I do have really exciting plans coming up in the next couple of months so Adam and I have got our summer holiday we're going to Italy he's chosen the location he's chosen what we're doing he's literally chosen everything I'm really excited and um, so we're going for a week to Italy we're going to Portofino and I honestly cannot wait so in the next um, YouTube video I'm actually going to do like an uh, outfit try on because I've got loads of new bits that I need to share I never do this ages ago and I haven't done it so I'm going to do like a summer outfit try on with all my new bits and we can help pick some outfits um, so I'm so excited for that I've got Sophie's baby shower in two weeks I've got um, for Adam's 30th I bought him a weekend away with our friends my best friend Frankie and her boyfriend um, Potsy I say Potsy his name isn't that it's Michael but his last name is Potsy and I set them up so basically Potsy I know him as Potsy rather than Mike which is what Frankie calls him Frankie calls him Mike but I call him Potsy because I know him through Adam so Adam and Potsy play football together so obviously Adam refers to him as Potsy so when I met him I referred to him as Potsy so 
I basically set them up as like, oh my god, they would be a perfect match. And I was right. <laughs> and now they call me Scylla Black and Cupid because they are so happy and it's all from me. So this is amazing. So um, so we booked a weekend away with them to the south of France to Cannes. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I went to Cannes for my, for Sophie's, who's pregnant, her Hindu, um, best weekend of my life, which was the number stories. So then we loved it so much. Me, Sophie and Frankie went back again at the end of August for a girls weekend. And we have vowed that we will go back every year because it is incredible. Incredible, honestly, like the best place in the world in my opinion um so adam has always really wanted to go I, I, obviously after he's seen me go and so i bought him that as his for his 30th and um, and frankie and potsy are coming as well so we've got that in august i've got my friend's hendu in august which is in newcastle and um, so i've got a busy couple of months so right now my boring girl era is suiting me just fine i need all the walks all the chill save my money because i've got a busy summer coming up and yeah i've just got a lot going on with work right now Sorry if the vlog is boring, but it's just, it's just real life, guys. And honestly, sometimes I just think it's better to just see what I'm actually doing. If you want to know what I'm actually doing, this is what I'm doing. It's not that exciting. My life is not exciting. It's just standard. <laughs> so, yeah, off we go on our walk. Guys, just before we go, I forgot to show you. I got one of the new, with the water bottles. Now, Soph got one of these. She has a really nice beige one. Hers was from TikTok, though. But I couldn't find it on TikTok when I went on to get it, so I got mine from Amazon. And also I wanted next day delivery because when I decide I want something, I want it like then and there. Like I've made my mind up, it's coming the next day on Amazon Prime before 1pm. <laughs> so this is it and it fits so much water in. And I took it to work on Friday for the first time because I do not drink water. This is probably like the one of my biggest issues is that I just don't get thirsty I don't know if something's wrong with me but I'm just never thirsty so I don't tend to drink anything other than tea and coffee which is not good so I bought this water bottle in the hope that if I fill it up I will just drink all day and I've got my aim is to fill the to finish the whole bottle every day so I took it to work on Friday the kids at work loved it they were like Miss Wood that's the biggest bottle ever it's amazing <laughs> it was really cute so I drank it all Friday and I'm gonna keep going and it's actually helping me get through my water Adam literally says to me all the time when you decide you're gonna do something you have to buy something new for it and the phase lasts about 10 minutes and he's like why are you trying that again so like for example if I'm like right I'm gonna start going to the gym so my first step of that would be right I need a new gym set I need some new trainers to get me motivated and to be fair I did do that when I started going to gym and I have stuck to it now for two months I've been going three times a week so I'm very very proud of myself um but the water bottle phase it's gonna last i know it's gonna last let's get them sorts on it adam adam what do you think about my new water bottle phase oh, what do you always say when i <laughs> not though is it though <laughs> it is bigger than me but it is gonna work guys i'm gonna drink more water I know this vlog is so disjointed, literally all over the place, but I thought I would do quickly, because I'm getting ready, a quick, like, everyday makeup thing. I get asked this a lot. Now, I'm not going to lie, I am nowhere near anything like a makeup expert, or I'm not even going to say the word artist, because I don't think artist and me could even be put into the same area never mind sentence um so i'm just gonna do what i do every day i basically keep it really simple because i'm not great at makeup i've never been amazing at it but what i do works and it's just simple um so i just thought i'd share it because i get asked all the time so basically i've spf'd this morning and it lasts all day with skin and me um so i'm gonna use the underglow primer from iconic i absolutely adore this it's a pipette um i need to shake it it's a pipette and it just makes your skin so glowy i hope you can see properly here because it's i'm trying to find a good space so i just literally put it on all over and it's just such a good base for my skin and I basically rub it in and it's so glowy it just makes your face really hydrated. I don't know if you can see. 
I use the Iconic Super Smoother Tint. So I always use a tint um, basically because I don't like it being too heavy. And again, I just apply with my hands. So we'll get that on. And this is really good because it's really buildable and really smooth and literally goes on like an absolute dream. So that is now on, all blended in and really natural. Um, I use the shade na nu Neutral? Neutral Light in that. When I use this in winter, because I literally have quite a few shades, when I use this in winter I used the Fair shade, I think it was Neutral Fair, but I moved to Light in the summer because I'm a bit browner slash I fake tan more. Um, so after that, guys, we're really pammering through here because it honestly doesn't take long. After that, we're on to bronzer. Now, this is the only non-Iconic London um, thing I use, to be fair, because I've switched to Iconic London just because it's so affordable and it doesn't irritate my skin. Um, but this is the Too Faced bronzer. You can get it on Look Fantastic. And it smells delicious, to be fair. It smells like holiday. So I go in with that. Um, so, there we go, that is on. Bit of bronzed now. And now, we move back to Iconic. Love this new Iconic brush, guys, which is just adorable. Um, and it's so good. So, I started using the Iconic London Kissed by the Sun Cheek Glows. This is shade Hot Stuff, which I really like, but they have so many shades. This is one of my favourites. Oh, gosh. Um, and basically you take this end of the brush, put it on, and blend up, put it on, and blend up, and it just gives you that lovely cheek glow. I take the other end of the brush and just drift it up here, like that. I would use the NARS Radiant Cream Concealer, which I'm running out of, to be fair, which I do love. I've, I use this for years. And I just put this on my scarring where I've had my acne um, because it just needs maybe a little bit more than the tinted moisturiser just to be fully covered. Um, obviously, because it's got scarring from previous years of quite bad skin. Then iconic london lip liner this one is one of my favorite ones this shade i really like it. EYN, and it's really nice because it's a nice like brown color and then the other end of the brush has like a blender so you can blend it in which is literally just genius Put on Charlotte Tilbury Penelope Pink. And then I put on this Maybelline gloss, which I like, which is colour Amber 007. Or I like this plumping gloss from Morphe. Or I like Fenty Beauty. Love that one as well. But what I've been loving mostly recently is the Iconic London um, glosses. They're like a match between a lipstick and a gloss and they just go on so smooth. Give myself a quick spray. Iconic London puts up the glow. Iconic London mascara, guys, I know this is the most boring makeup haul ever because it's literally most of Iconic London, but it's just what I use. And that's literally it, guys. I hope you could see that because I don't know where I put the camera, whether it's good or not. And that's it. But I love it. Like, literally. Perfect. So, yeah. I'm absolutely buzzing with that. It just, honestly, everything just goes on so naturally and so well. I really hope you could see over there. Now I feel like maybe I should have sat in here, but I was hoping the natural light would make me able to see. But if not, this is what it <laughs> this is what it looks like. Basically, today, last jobs of the weekend is I really want to um, do some DIY. So 
I've got in my big range bag here, where can I put you? Sorry, ignore the mess surrounding me. But, I've got a huge range bag here. So I went shopping the other day. And I bought some stuff to do some DIY. So, I bought these very basic £1.50 plant pots and you got five of them. And I am planning on painting them to make them look like rustic actual pots rather than having to buy one of those which could be like £10 to £20 per pot hopefully I'm going to get five for £1.50 with a bit of DIY on them so to do that I bought this sponge and I bought these paints which I'm going to mix with baking powder to get a textured look, which I did quite a while ago, a couple of years ago, on a lamp to get a Neptune DIY lamp, which I shared on my Instagram. And I've done it with a vase before, and it looks really good. So I've got this, like, beige colour, and then I've got um, a mixing white and a titanium white. And mixed together with a bit of um, baking powder, it should create kind of the rustic pot I'm feeling. We will see. I don't know if it's going to work. Um... And then, oh, and I got some paintbrushes as well because I didn't have any. Well, I do, but I don't know where they are. And then I also wanted to do some DIY with these ropes. So I bought these ropes and I have a hot glue gun. And I was thinking with these ropes or with these ropes, I could create some really nice like hurricane lantern holders or um, like a bit, add a bit more to just like a basic glass. And I was thinking I could actually use um, these fake uh, candles which have LED. I was thinking if I roped round the bottom half of these, it would make them look a lot more premium. That was my thought anyway. Or I'd need like a glass jar and rope round the bottom of the glass jar to create that kind of um, rustic look. So that was the thought that I had. So I've got these in here and I'm not going to do them today because I need to fully decide what I'm going to do. But I am going to do a DIY with them at some point. I could not leave them behind because they were like £1 a pack I think. Um, and I just thought, oh, I could definitely do something with those. And then I've got, and don't shout at me because since I posted this on my Instagram, everyone's told me it's bad for the environment. But I did not know, guys. I've looked loads of this Oasis to do loads of like faux flower displays. So I was thinking in a pot like this, which I showed in my other haul the other week, which was from um, Matalan, it's quite hard to fill because of the flowers. However, if you put Oasis foam in the middle, you could stick the faux flowers in the Oasis foam and have them hanging out kind of in like a big display, but they'd be safe, they'd stay still. And that's the kind of thing you need for that. So I bought some different shaped ones to have a go at that. But this shape, this shape, and this shape. And I wanted to have a go at a couple of things with those. Right, I've got them now, guys. So I know now that they're bad in the environment. And everyone said next time get chicken wire. So that is something I'll absolutely do for next time. But as I have now bought them, I am going to use them. Otherwise, it's just an absolute waste. So um, I'm sorry if that's offended you. Because I didn't realise. I didn't know. Um, but yes, I'm going to use those. They are really easy to use though, so it's a bit of a shame because they literally work so well. So that is upsetting. And I got this amazing candle from the range the other day. It's Country Garden and it smells, it smells incredible. And how cute is the little vase? And I thought after that, what a cute little pot that is with the, all the flowers on. So yeah, I picked that up from the range. And I'm, I'm buzzing to light it, to be fair. I forgot that that was in here, so I'm going to keep that out. So, yeah, I'm going to do the DIY. I think what we'll start with is we'll start with the painting DIY. And then we'll come back to the ropes another time when I know what I'm going to do. So, let's give that a go. I've got three currently drying outside. So, I'm going to do this next one now. What I'm starting with is, I've got these acrylic paints I've showed you before, so I'm just literally dipping some out and I'm gonna do the first coat on each plant pot. Um, obviously it's plastic, so it doesn't stick well, but that's fine, because the first coat is basically just white, just to cover it to make it like tacky, so that the further paint sticks. And then over there I've got a pot, which I've mixed together with flour and paint, which I'll show you in a minute, with the beige and the white color which I need to add some more white to, which has gone quite thick, um, like a textured, thick solution, really. And the reason I've done that is because I want it to kind of mould together now, 
as it dries. So when I put it on, it's really thick and gives a really textured stone look and sticks well. That's our plan anyway. So I'm literally putting these out in the sun when I've done a layer and then I'll do a second layer when it's dried. And then after my second layer, I'll add the mixture on. Here they are. I'll add this onto the collection. I actually um, have had a delivery today of the egg chair, which Adam's bought. So Adam basically found this, can you see me? Adam's dad lives quite close to us. Sorry, that's like the bin lorry and all the workmen over there in the new builder state. Um, yeah, Adam's dad lives quite close to us. And he, we walked to his like, I'd say at least once a week, every Sunday we go, if it's sunny weather, because he has the most incredible garden. So we walked down to his, and he's got inside, in his garden, like on the patio bit, this massive double egg chair, which Adam and I can both get on. It's so comfy and it like swings, and we both lie on it, both of us at the same time, and we're just chilling the sun, and literally, it's become a weekly routine. We love going to Adam's dad to go on the, the double chair. So Adam was like, right, we have to get it. So we measured up, and it does just fit on the decking, so we've got it here, it's been delivered. Um, so Adam's gonna set it up this weekend. So really excited about that. So that's over there. And then it will just fit in that gap there. But eventually we will put it on here to get the evening sun when this has been bricked up to match the rest of this. But obviously we're still having um, garden issues as you can see, which I'm not even gonna go into right now because it's a whole massive story about what has gone on with these rocks and the landscape so many people have been messaging me and he has i'm gonna i'm not speaking about it now because we're giving him the chance to kind of sort it out but at the moment it's we're not very happy with what's happened but i'm not going to speak too much on it because we're going to give him the chance to kind of fix the situation but we'd paid for the rocks to go a lot of money and a lot of money for some other things and the rocks are still here we have a massive patch of mud and yeah so it's a long story which i might may have to go into at some point but right now we're just <laughs> hoping he he fixes it so let's see if my first one has dried because i did my first one a while ago hopefully it will have dried and we can um we can see what the next part this is the mixture i made by the way here so i know it looks a bit like sick and disgusting but it's meant to be tacky like that to create kind of like a stone effect. Um, I should have bought some grey really, but I wanted it to be like a country stone instead of like a concrete. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Guys, I can't believe I've just done this, but I literally completely forgot to film what I'm doing. Um, can you even see? I've got paint all over my hands. There we go. So I'm on the last one now. So I've done two in the flower and um, beige and white mix with the bit of... I put a bit of baking soda as well in, um, sorry, icing sugar, um, to get like the balls. And then I've mixed flour into the white one with a bit of um, icing sugar now, and I'm doing two like lighter ones. So I'll show you them when they're done. Kitchen cupboard is open, you're just gonna have to ignore it. But yeah, so basically I just put it on thick, like dab it on with the paintbrush, not paint it. So dab the paintbrush in and kind of whack it on deliberately so the mixture is uneven and it goes thicker in some parts than others and because the flour makes it gloopy and sticky like it kind of makes a paste it makes it um it makes it nice and thick and will cover the plastic and also gives it that texture that kind of like uneven stone texture i get the sponge and i literally dab the sponge and can you see it creates that texture the reason I'm using this end of the sponge is because the other one was for the um, the beige. Can you see the texture it's making? See, that texture. So Adam is setting up the egg chair and this is it so far. He's done the stand. I'm about to unpackage the seat and put it on. I'm literally so excited. Whoop, whoop. Can't wait. And my pots are drying nicely guys as well. I really should have painted the inside of them, which I've just realised. Which was definitely my mistake. Absolutely should have painted the inside of them. So I'm going to have to go back and do that. That's nice, isn't it? Cushion. 
We went for the, was it called coffee? Yep. Coffee colour. Because Adam's dad has the grey one. But no, it's a different, it's a different style completely. It's a different style completely? I'm not sure. It's not just a newer version. I didn't realise. So we've not got the exact same as him? No, we're both similar. Ours is better. Is it? I'm like, I thought we had the exact same. Well, I lo love the look of it. I hope we both fit on now. Like we do on. You what? Double one. Yeah, you know, like we fit on his though. Just making tea, hence the noise, but the egg chair is now up. Adam is resting on it. We'll go and see it. And then the camera's about to die. So this will be the end of this little weekend vlog. And I hope you have enjoyed it. Adam? Unreal. Comfy? Yeah. With a little waterproof bag to put, not a bag, what is it, like a cover to put over the whole thing in the winter to keep it safe. And obviously we'll put the cushions in the shed every night. But yeah, where was it from? Patropi. 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 Q-U-A. T-R-O-P-I. Q-U-A. Say again. Q-U-A. Q-U-A. T R T R O P I O P I. If you want to have a look, could Troppy. There we go. Hope you've enjoyed watching today's vlog, and I will catch up with you all again soon. Bye.